and welcome back folks to yet another exciting episode of Fallout 3. I get it, yes. We're still in Tranquility Lane and Betty, aka Dr. Stanislaus Braun, wants us to mess with people. But there's an alternative way to go about this. Remember old lady Dithers? She mentioned that failsafe device. Maybe there's a way to get out of this without making more people suffer. I mean, okay, Timmy had to cry a little bit. That wasn't that awful, I suppose. We don't have to make things worse. And I get the idea that Dr. Braun will not be satisfied with something as simple as breaking up a marriage. Not for long, anyway. This must be the abandoned house that Lady Dizzards was talking about. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of darkened, isn't it? Oh, I don't have my pip boy, so I cannot even illuminate the area. Hmm. Well, is there anything in here? I'm assuming this house is um, associated with the uh, with the broken simulation pod, maybe? Wouldn't make sense. Okay, well, I don't see anything. There's a gnome here. Can activate it. Huh. Huh. Okay. Can make sounds with those. Now just what do I have to do with that? Hmm. I'm waiting to see how you handle the I get it, yes. Must be something else to do. I need to find out some sort of rhythm or song, I'm guessing. Okay. Can't push. I'm waiting to see how you handle the Rockwells. Yes, I know. You, you keep con You keep repeating yourself, little girl. What is that tune she's whistling? Or rather, he's whistling. Maybe we can try to emulate that, eh? No. I think we're getting somewhere. Very close now. What the? There we go. We found the failsafe. Command terminal. Let's see what we can do to mess with the simulation, eh? Chinese invasion. Ooh. Entries from Dr. Braun. Hmm. Yeah. He actually takes pleasure from people's withering away from scurvy. Being eaten by sharks. He's a freaking sadist. Salam Chalet. Impale, uh, spectacular and utterly random. He's, he's crazy. He f really is. Now he wants something more domestic, and I believe that is how we ended up with Tranquility Lane. So he's going through different simulations, torturing the residents in different ways. Hmm. Kronach? Kronach? I wonder. 
Hmm. Very long time indeed. This guy's talking about creating his own hell with him as the torturer. Version control. Display current version control. Port 001 that must be bronze. Manual override disabled. Remote access allowed. Override memory access. So that, that's why some of them cannot remember anything. Revised code for board maintenance. Unknown granted access, unknown altered by Braun. Interesting. Previous versions. All previous versions wiped. Huh. What about this Chinese invasion program? Dr. Brown entry, okay. Braun. There are days I consider finally pulling the plug. He's thinking about suicide, even. And apparently, General Chase has more than just the Anchorage simulation to his credit, but also the Chinese invasion program. Hmm. Each subject will die. The in simulationist avatar is killed. Aha, he himself cannot die in the event of the failsafe execution. Then what about him, if everybody dies but him? Cannot disable his own safety. Where's the fun in tormenting a machine? Okay. Yes, a complete sadist. He doesn't want them to die. He doesn't want them to be released from his little virtual hell here. And he would be left alone and bored for all eternity. The documentation. Don't run without, yeah, without, don't run with those fail saves off, basically. And, okay, so that's general chase. Purpose simulate a communist incursion on U.S. soil. <laughs> Stable safety protocols, override target acquisition, experience real world termination, proceed with caution. Well... It's pretty harsh, but I think Lady Dithers has a point. It's time to free these people. They have their memory tempered with, they are no longer themselves even, and even when they are, they only exist to be tortured by Brawn anymore. And I don't think we can save them any other way. We can only get them out by killing them and ending the simulation that way. Let's do it. Initiate it. Program is running. There's the Chinese invasion. This will be over quick. Don't worry. Cannot tamper with the body, okay? They don't attack me, but they are attacking all the other subjects. It's for your own good, believe it or not. I'm very sad it had to come to this, but it's the best way I can see. Let's talk to Braun, shall we? What do you what think you about did? what I did? <laughs> do you realize what you've done? You've triggered the failsafe, ruined everything. 
The subjects will die, and I'll be stuck here in this hell, alone. You ruined everything. Everything. That was the purpose. It's all over. Now shut up. It is not over. It is not over until I say so. Do you understand me? I, I, I. I just want things to go back the way they were. Where's my father? He's been right here the whole time. And you were too dense to figure it out. The dog, you see. Man's best friend. But now you've taken all my friends from me. Tell me about the Gek then. The Garden of Eden creation kit. It was for terraforming. For restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology. And ultimately boring. Why remake the old reality when instead you could create any reality you choose? And torture people within it. Great work for you there. Well. Who are you really? My name is Stanislaus Braun. I'm a vault -Tec scientist. I created this simulation for vault -Tec, But for myself as well. It was my own design. My own perfection. A better reality than any other. Far greater than my work on the Gek. <laughs> I guess that means I'm free to leave, eh? Isn't it obvious? You've run the failsafe, disrupted everything! I have no power over you. There's the door. Go. And my father? Yes, I'm sure he's fine. No doubt when you leave the simulation, he'll be waiting for you. But there's no one waiting for me. You made sure of that yourself. Now let's t tell me about this place before I leave you for eternity. It is my greatest achievement. The best of the many simulations I've run in these 200 years. I played with the others, but they bored me. This version never grew old. It amused me over and over and over again. Because you are pretty sick. I guess we're done here. I have to go. Run along now. Yes, and you stay put. Well, then, come along, Dad. Good doggy. I guess I guess he'll follow us out or something. There it is, the exit. The Chinese will patrol this place and make sure that all of the subjects are dead and free. Let's go. There he is. Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but but what are you doing here? I came here to find you, of course. Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for Braun, or I might have fared better. Well, good thing I showed up to save you then, eh? It certainly is. It's nice to feel that I'm on two legs again. <laughs> and thanks to Dr. Braun, I know that Project Purity isn't lost after all. How's that? I was right about Braun. The technology he developed is unstable, even dangerous. But it can be adapted for Project Purity. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with Madison. If we can find a Gek, we can make Project Purity work. <laughs> so he's... Already talking about the same project that made him leave the world in the first place. He uh, really has a one-track mind, this guy, doesn't he? You're going back there right now? Yes. With what I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. I'm not going with you, though. I have other things to take off care of first. We'll meet up there. Really? You're not going to join me? Coming all this way after me, I'd have thought you'd want to help. I have to keep going. I can't stop now. I'm going back to Rivet City. Meet me there if you change your mind. I... It would be good to work with you, son. 
Can we maybe talk a little bit before you go? Of course, son. What's on your mind? How could you just leave with Jonas dead and the entire world in an uproar? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. That worked out. A plan out. which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. <laughs> could say that. Is this about mom? About her dream of clear water for everybody? Oh, my son. If only you could have known how much it meant to her. She believed in the work we were doing and was so determined to see it through. She gave up so much for this project. We all did. And I don't want that to have been for nothing. I guess I can understand that, but it still doesn't make much sense. So am I, son. While this isn't what I have in mind, it's good to have you with me. Right. I mean, the moment Jonas died, James had to realize that I couldn't stay in that vault any longer. But I guess he didn't. What exactly is this Project Purity? It's about clearing water, right? It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loved so much? Free, clean water yeah. for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's Tidal Basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. That would be something to behold. And what happened to Project Purity? In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came. But then I... We lost her. And I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City. And Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. Hmm. Well, I think this is sufficient. Let's go. Be careful, my son. Right. We'll meet up with him in Rivet City when the time is right. Are these people dead now? Did us. Yeah, she's dead. They're all dead now. Freed from this hellish existence. That's certainly not the nicest way to get them out of there. Well. I think Stanislaus Braun is punished enough with his eternity alone in the system now. We, however, have other things to do. We will slowly make our way back to Rivet City and ensure that Project Purity starts over properly this time. We can protect it, I think. And then maybe Mom's dream can finally become a reality. In the meantime, we should probably explore a little bit more of the area uh, south and east of this vault. In fact, didn't we just hear about a bunch of slavers kidnapping children? Maybe that should be our next target. Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that might be a good idea. So next time, folks, we will try to get to Paradise Falls. And rescue the little hostages from Little Lamplight who were taken as slaves. Maybe we can save them. And who else? Whoever else may be there. Well, I hope you join me then. Let's lock this up so Braun isn't disturbed by anybody who might help him. Um. Yeah, join me next time for that episode when we make our way towards Paradise Falls. See you.